Hello, and in this video, I'm going to show you some ideas for a whole week of fun all centered around the transportation theme. So parents and caregivers, transportation just means something that can get people or things from one place to the other. So there are some vehicles that we use for transportation, some that go on land, some in the air, some in the water, and some up in space like a rocket ship. So come along and I'll show you step by step what you can do to have a whole week of transportation fun. Let's head to the classroom. Okay, so we're here in the classroom and the first thing I want to show you is the lesson plan for this week. It looks like this, a little neater. This one has all my notes on it, but um, the, you can see that what we did this week was uh, all kinds of things that related to the theme transportation. There are things for you to do for every subject area, the theme and letter, language and literacy, math, music and movement, art, story time, and there's even some sharing ideas to get communication skills. So this, this uh, lesson plan is complete Monday through Friday, so a whole week's worth of activities. On Monday, we did just introduce the theme transportation. So we did T is for transportation. We decorated the letter T with train tracks. We did some beginning sounds, just talked about, um, you know, what starts the beginning, uh, we just had like some different, like a train and a car and a bus and an airplane. You can kind of think about what letter begins those words like t -t train. So we had a little Thomas the train or a car, c -c -c that's letter C for car. So you can just write to some beginning sounds for the literacy part and language. But this is how we decorated the letter T, just a black crayon or marker to make train tracks. And we also used our little Thomas the train and we just kind of rode it along the letter T so kids could get an idea of what letter T looks like so they could better recognize it. The um, hand motion for letter T is this. T says T, 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 like a ticking clock. T, 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 t. Every letter has a hand motion. And so letter T's hand motion is t, t, t. the more senses you engage, the better that learning sticks. Um, for math, we did a count and graph activity. I'll show you that worksheet. So students just looked for the car and then we colored in one bar for each and space for each car. This is a bar graph. And we went back and answered questions about it. So I said, how many sailboats? Mm, how many cars? How many dump trucks? So that was our math for Monday. For music and movement, I have a link here for the song Let's Be Planes. It's really cute, but it's not just about planes. It's also about other vehicles. For art, we did something uh, pretty cool. Um, and I'm gonna have the link on the weekly lesson plan. Excuse me, oh, there I am. And this is a little car wash. And this has been a favorite in all of my classes for all these years since I've been doing this. Um, but I just took an oatmeal box and you can see I just cut out the sides, both sides. And then I just printed out this car wash. And like I said, the link will be on the lesson plan, but you could really just use regular paper and just cut straight lines. You can kind of see on this side, it's just straight, 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 straight lines. And then the kids had a lot of fun driving their vehicles through the car wash and out the other side, all clean. So that was a lot of fun. That was the art project for Monday for transportation. And I said, you can wash your trains and airplanes and cars, all your toys. Um, the story for this day was All Through My Town and that's by Jean Wrighty. Okay, for Tuesday, let's move on to Tuesday. We did L is for land, land vehicles. And we practiced the letter L sound. This is how we decorated. With, we just dipped a toy car into black paint and just let it drive all over the letter L. Remember, L is for land vehicles like cars or buses, for trains or trucks. And the, the hand motion for L is this. La, 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 la. L sounds like 
L and I said, it sounds like we're about to sing. La, 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 la. That's what letter L sounds like. Um, for math, for this day, we did this fun bus worksheet. We just added some kids to the school bus. I wrote a number here. So for example, I might write just number three and we cut out all these little kids and I let the kids um, on their own paper, they just put three and then they didn't write a number here because once you write one number, you can't reuse this. Now you could make a whole bunch of copies or you could put this in a sheet protect protector, but I just called out a number and they added that many to the school bus. So that's kind of how we did this uh, paper. Okay, so that was math on Tuesday for music and movement time. We did one, two, three red light song and the link will be on the lesson plan. For art, we did a really cool toilet roll car. So it's just a simple empty toilet roll and we just cut the top and folded it down. You know, you just peel it back and then fold it down. And then we added some paper tires and a little paper steering wheel right there. Just glued it right on there. And that was a little toy car for Tuesday when we talked about land vehicles. The story for Tuesday was Pete the Cat, Go Pete Go. Okay, so there we go. All right, so Wednesday is next. For Wednesday, we talked about vehicles that go in the air and we decorated the letter A blue with some cotton ball clouds. I talked about the two vowel walking rule and um, I just had two stuffed animals. I had a hedgehog and a little toy monkey and the hedgehog kind of looked mean and it was bossy. The two vowels are, were walking and the two friends were walking along, but the hedgehog made the, the little monkey be quiet, be quiet, I'll do all the talking. And um, I just demonstrated that when two vowels are walking, it's like that. The first one does the talking, be quiet over there. And the second one is silent. And that was just a way to demonstrate, because when you think about it, A is for air, things that go in the air, but A usually says, ah, 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 like achoo. So I taught them that A and R, that A and I together, you have two vowels walking together. The first one does the talking. And I said, and it can talk as long as it wants to. So it says it's long sound. A says a and the i is silent so air air that's how you teach that word air and teach that special rule two vowels walking so that was that was how we did that um for math on wednesday let me see we did oh this hot air balloon paper where they just count the balloons and glued the number all the links for the worksheets will be provided. And for the song we did, Row, Row, Row Your Boat. I do have a link for that with motions, but we had fun just singing it on our own. For Thursday, um, oh, uh, did I just get mixed up? I'm sorry, I looked at the wrong one. So we're on Wednesday, sorry about that. We're on Wednesday. So we just did the two vowel rock walking rule and the hot air balloon worksheet. The music was the airplane song this day. And the art was a hot air balloon. I have that right here. We did some uh, dot painting. We just took, I took a pom-pom ball and I clipped it with a clothespin and dipped it in paint. And we just dot, 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 dotted it on there. And that's how we decorated um, our hot air balloon. And then the story for uh, Wednesday was Amazing Airplanes by Tony Mitten. Now we're on to Thursday. For Thursday, W was for water vehicles. We used watercolor paints to decorate our letter W. And I showed the kids a really fun idea that um, you can do to make that look even more kind of watery is just to sprinkle on some salt while the glue is, excuse me, while the paint is still wet. And then when it dries, it just kind of makes these ripply, this kind of a ripply effect like water, um, just something extra, uh, just a fun way to decorate and just not the same old thing. Um, then for math, we did number sequence boats. That looks like this sheet right here. 
There's some missing numbers, so they just cut and glued those. For the song, again, it was Row, Row, Row Your Boat. For art, we did an egg carton sailboat. I'll go ahead and tell you the story. It was Old MacDonald Had a Boat by Steve Goats, and it is really fun. Um, this was how we made the sailboat. So we just took half of the egg carton. It had six, we counted, it has six seats in this sailboat. And then we punched a hole in the end and I added a triangle to a straw, stuck that right in there. And that made our little sailboat. We even put some Lego friends in there. So that was just a fun little art project that's simple. And that was for um, water vehicles. For Friday, we did R is for rocket, things that go in space. We decorated the R just by coloring it black. Because when you look up, up at the night sky, you can see things in space, like the moon and stars and planets twinkling. But otherwise, you have to take a rocket ship to see what's in space or use a telescope. So we decorated that black. We did a fun I spy math worksheet, looks like this. We just counted the rockets and air, the airplanes and helicopters and put the numbers to the side. That was our math for Friday. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon was our song for music and movement time. Our story was Sadie Sprocket builds a rocket. And that's a really cute uh, story by Sue Fleiss. And for art today, this was a lot of fun. We made a homemade rocket using a straw. So all you need is a straw and a piece of paper, you just make a rectangular piece of paper and you roll it up into a tube and then you, you tape it closed and then you tape, you squish one end of the tube and you tape it closed. So basically you just have this tube, one end is taped closed, the other end has the hole in it and then you can just put a rocket. This is really just decoration. This doesn't even help the rocket to to launch, it's just for decoration. You can tape that onto the tube. Then you put the tube onto a straw, you count down and you see your rocket blast off. Three, two, one, blast off. So that was a lot of fun. The kids really enjoyed seeing that again and again. Blast off. All right, so that was our week. Hope that you'll get to try out some of these ideas. This week, we learned about transportation. We've also done camping. We've done a pirate theme. So go back and watch those videos. Fill your summer up with fun learning activities. So when school starts again, all those skills that we've worked on all year long are still there, but you're not too pressured this summer. This is, these are just some fun things that I don't even think they'll realize that they're doing school or learning. So have fun and let me know if you have any other ideas that you want me to work on. Next is going to be a whole week of space, so stay tuned for that video. I'll see you next time.